Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, May 18th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Happy Hump Day, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to start off our midweek report with an update on John Meadows. As many of you already know, last week we reported that John was hospitalized after suffering a heart attack. But thankfully for John and his family, he's back home now and on the road to recovery. According to John's wife, there is no buildup of plaque in his arteries. But the overall function of his heart is decreased, they say, possibly by 10%, which will cause some weakness possibly in the future. But from what I understand, things can return to normal over time if everything goes well, which is what we're all hoping for. So let's wish John a speedy recovery, hopefully. He'll be back to his old self before we know it. There's a saying in business that some things only worth whatever someone's willing to pay for it. And I'm sure there are a lot of people who would pay good money to be in the gym with Fuad Abiyad right now. Two days ago, someone sent me a clip of Fuad smashing a heavy leg session where I thought he looked as healthy as I'd seen him in a long time. It's been a while since Fuad hasn't had to train around one injury or another, which means that he probably is feeling like himself again. So as long as he stays in the groove, I think there's a possibility that we see him on stage again before the end of the summer. One of the cool things about representative democracies is that the people get to decide who they want to act on their behalf in the government. Now, not to state the obvious, but I'm not a Canadian citizen, but if I was, I wouldn't mind casting a vote for someone who's been consistent, just as Reagan Grimes has. Yesterday, I came across a clip of Reagan sweating his way through a solid back session as he starts to kick things into gear for the start of his contest season. Based on what I've seen, Regan looks pretty lean at the moment. And with the New York Pro being 16 weeks away, at this point, I don't think we can rule that out as a possible target destination for his 2020 debut. If you read the financial reports, now is a great time to get into real estate because this is a buyer's market. That being said, you'll still have to cough up a pretty penny for a spot at the top of the mountain next to Chris Bumstead. I know it goes without saying, but this is a huge season for Chris coming back to defend his Olympia title for the first time. Being able to repeat as a champion would be a defining moment for his legacy. And honestly, with him still being so young, it sets up an opportunity for him to enter into the prime of his career with two titles already in the books. So if he strikes while the market conditions are in his favor, he has a chance to build something epic. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you.